Skype has just launched a new integration with Facebook. If you don't already have Skype, head over to skype.com and download the program. Install it. Click finish. And if you don't have an account, sign up for the account. If not, log in. And the new version right now only works on Windows, but you'll see that here on the left is your normal Facebook or your normal Skype information. And then you'll see the profile and you can fill in your phone numbers and things as needed. You can add a video to your profile or your mood message if you'd like. And various emails and phone numbers. Let's take a look at the Facebook tab. We're going to see the news feed. You'll have to log in and give it permission to be able to see your Facebook account information. Give it the full permissions to be able to post to your profile as well. And here you'll see here's my news feed happening inside of Skype. Notice on the right hand side of each post though I can either add somebody to a contact or I can call them. So I'm going to click add as a contact and send them a request. And if I know their phone number, it would like me to put them in. At this time, I'm going to skip this. So I'll close the window. And here you see their basic Skype profile information. For now, though, we'll close it and we'll go back to the Facebook tab. And again, you see that I could send SMS or call, whether it be their landline or something like that, if I needed to. Um, because I have Skype out credits, which means I could either do a Skype to Skype call or I could Skype out. I could dial from Skype out to their phone numbers if they've listed it on their profile. Likewise, too, I could send text messages if they are signed up for Skype texting. So that's the basics of Facebook being inside of Skype. Notice at the top that I can update my status in Facebook. I could refresh the information, disable the news feed, change it so that my Skype mood message or my status message shows up the same both in Facebook and in Skype. Also you see the Facebook phone book is here as well so if you need to make a call to a phone number that people have listed inside of their Facebook profiles you could do that. And then finally you see the option to give feedback. So if you are happy, unhappy with the Skype service, you could send a message and say what's going on with your Skype quality. So that's Facebook integrated inside of Skype, available on Windows now.